we're back all right hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we're gonna be reacting to um people sharing the deepest secret and let's see man hope it's a good video and yeah please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and let's keep building all right let's go okay yeah and don't forget always have your water with you all right did you got it <laughs> maybe that'll be my thing mm. okay never mind, never mind. Let's go, let's go, let's go. i uh write down the date and time every time i go poop i have done so for the last i think four years the dedication <laughs> yo no way right oh. <laughs> okay so when i was a kid uh me and my brothers we used to uh eat our grandfather's cigar ashes. We used to eat a bunch of other weird stuff like talcum powder, tree bark. But yeah, no, the cigar ashes, they, uh, they had such a distinguished flavor to them, so. It's the, it's the distinguished for me, bro. What? <laughs> cigar ashes? Okay, okay, I will not, I won't pause too much, but you know, like, <sighs> these things I'm hearing, hey. <laughs> What? Nah, I think no. This is about wild. <sighs> That's probably why I smoke now. <laughs> I'm in love with my best friend. I've had a crush on one of my closest friends for like two years now. I still have. We've all been there. If you have a crush on me, tell me, oh, tell me, please, tell me, <laughs> tell me. <sighs> okay, let's go back. Let's go. Back. Feelings for my high school ex. I'm still. In love with my ex. Um, my ex-boyfriend lit my house on fire. Okay, so this one time I was out in West Hollywood. West Hollywood. Wait, we're not gonna skip past that. Huh? <laughs> wait, wait. Okay. It's giving... <laughs> okay, so this one time I was out in West Hollywood with a friend. She got really drunk, so I brought her home, and she started throwing up right in my living room, and I held her hair back, but the smell was so bad that I ended up throwing up on her head, and I never had the guts to tell her about it. Yeah, bro, you gotta die with that right now. Like, you don't ever tell her, bro. <laughs> I would, bro, I'm gone. I'm gone with that secret, bro. <laughs> I'll never tell the person, never. What? Nah, bro. Mm -mm. So once in college, I was sitting near my English professor and he had a long sticker on his butt cheek that had the pants size and I kept trying to single, uh, signal to him that he had it on and I kept pointing to his butt cheek and he didn't really get it and then I kind of just started pointing to mine and then he started getting flustered and admittedly kind of uncomfortable and he really wouldn't get it and so then I just kind of like got closer to him and like kind of like turned my body and kind of showed him like, kind of showed him like, bro you went all bro you, you stretched yourself too much bro just tell him just be like bro you got a sticker right there <laughs> i mean you don't, you don't have to say it, bro you got a sticker on your ass bro like you know what i mean like just tell him ah oh do that stress doing too much jerry kind of my butt cheek area and pointed to mine and then to his and then he finally got it but it kind of took a second and i'm pretty sure he thought that i was trying to hit on him in a really horrible way in front of everybody so english class okay i think that i've honestly peed my pants more than like the average adult person has peed their pants in their life like probably five times since I've turned 18. It's just who 18 is a stretch. Nah, you're bugging. You're bugging. Are you saying every time? Nah, you're, you're tripping. What? I was even about to say like, oh, when you're younger, I can't hold your pee. You know, no, no, it's, it's, it's understandable, but 18? Huh. Hey, hey. I am, I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, so when I was little, I never thought the happiest place on earth was Disneyland. I always thought it was McDonald's and Disneyland was second. So when I was little, my dream job was to work at McDonald's, specifically to make the french fries and work in the window. You will you end, end up, up in, in my donuts. donuts. <laughs> you will end up in my donuts, that's what I meant. You end up in my donuts. <laughs> oh, nah, working at McDonald's? Oh. Mm. Oh, uh, 
it's like the happiest place on earth. Like it had the playground and then they had the fries and the little Happy Meal toys. And then it was just, it, it had everything. Uh, when I was a kid, I still do this. Whenever I'm at museums or like exhibits and stuff, I always try and touch every single thing, especially when it says no touch. Uh, once I stole a really cool looking nap ring from an open house when I was like eight years old and I felt so bad, I wrote a letter to the homeowners association telling them I was sorry. My best friend told me that he was in love with me and I felt the same way, but I never told him that I loved him too. Damn! Why didn't she tell him though? Now that, now that's messed up. No, nah, bro. Mm -mm, mm -mm. When I was 15, I was in a school shooting at my high school and I feel like I never fully um, got over my PTSD and every day I live, I always have a fear that somewhere something is going to happen again. Um, I say I don't like children and I don't want them ever, but I think I'm just secretly afraid I'll mess them up like my parents messed me up. One secret that I don't really tell Yo, tell me why I've heard so many people say that, because <laughs> that one is another conversation. <laughs> people, except for my closest friends, is that I have really bad social anxiety. I've gotten really good at pretending like I'm really social, but I'm actually not. And I'm always viewing myself through other people's eyes, and it's really stressful. So on this trip with my friends, I'm trying to just be myself and like not think about anything too much. So I am a trans woman and I have not come out to uh, a whole lot of people yet. Um, so yeah, and my name is Isabella. All right, all right, do your thing. Okay. So all my life, I've really sacrificed everything for everyone else, um, doing all I could to make everyone happy and feel loved. And um, that was okay up until like the other day, my mom told me that she didn't want me in her life and that I was a mess and basically saying I wasn't lovable. And I kind of just realized that making those sacrifices aren't always deserved. Um, and I do love her, but I'm going to live my life for me, even if it scares me, even if it doesn't get approval from anyone else, because this is my life. Exactly, as you should. Don't live your life for anybody else. Do what you want to do. Do what makes you happy. Because, yeah, you know, I don't want to give too much advice. If no, we're here, we're here forever. <laughs> we're here. Do you, man. Um, um, that's a very difficult realization. This is a, a little bit of a, a secret that I've had since I was a lot younger. Um, I've always kind of struggled internally with like masculine and feminine energy. I've always been told that I need to be, you know, like way more masculine and uh, not so like sensitive and, and not so feminine, uh, according to like a lot of my you know cultural upbringing and stuff. So. Uh, it was something that I used to struggle with a lot, and um, as, as a kid, I did a lot of martial arts. I used to literally go into my uh, go to my mom's like closet and gra grab all her like a bunch of her clothes and uh, put on all of her clothes, and then hit the crap out of stuff to try to like kill like the feminine energy inside of me. It reminds me of that episode on um, Empire when was it Jamal that wore like. Was it like heels? Then his dad called him or something like that. I'll try to I'll try to look for the clip though. But yeah. It was always really really tough. But as I got older, I kind of accepted that a whole lot more. 
And uh, I actually ended up opening up a, a Muay Thai gym to where I can have like a, a really safe space to be both, to let out my masculine energy when needed and uh, retain my feminine being as I am without feeling judged or without feeling bad about myself. My dad, my parents disowned me when I was 18 for not being Christian. I'm 25 now and I've done a lot of healing and um, made a lot of progress in forgiveness, but I kind of wear this face that I don't-, I don't That's kind of messed up because I don't think parental love should like um, mix with religion or something, you know? I don't know, man. <laughs> Uh, this world is so messed up and people are so messed up mm. that they disown me that i don't care that you know i that i hate them but deep down i want more than anything to my dad just to tell me that he loves me well yeah that's the end of today's video. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. You guys want to see more of reaction videos like this? Or, yeah, just tell me. Just say what you feel. And, yeah. Thank you guys for watching again. Don't forget to drink your water. Drink water. And like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching again. All right, bye-bye. No. In the end, a better intro. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> All right, bye-bye. Like, comment, subscribe. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hey, oh yeah, now please like this video, comment and share. We are subscribed now. Oh yeah, now please now. Oh yeah, now subscribe. <laughs>